Hello, in today's video, we will create the PostGree SQL directly on Brainboard. So let's get started. The first resource we're going to use is going to be a resource group. So here we are going to configure it. So we have resource group is going to be here default. The name is going to be this one. Advanced configuration, we have the tags here and the extra attributes with the count that depends on and for each. So here we will make it bigger to now include a virtual network. So here we have virtual network. We drag and drop it here. Then we need to configure this resource and to do that we need to create variables. So here we will create the first variable is going to be a vnet seeder. Here, scope architecture here is going to be string and the default is going to be this one. So here we add it. Then now we are going to use the name prefix is going to be this one. Here is going to be a string. The default is going to be brain board and then we add. Now we go back to here. Then we say here as the address space is going to be the variable loop that we have created here the name is going to be the second variable that we have created we look at advanced configuration we have the tags and here we are good to go so now i will modify the shape here and then i will add a subnet. So we have subnet here. Perfect. To configure the subnet, I need another variable. So we go back to input. We create another variable here. We have subnet seeder. Here, architecture, then string, then default is going to be this one. And here we add it. So now we are good. We can configure the subnet. So here we are going to configure the subnet is going to be the resource name is going to be default. Then here the name is going to be this one. Group here, advanced configuration. We have the variable that we can use is var subnet here. Then we have here Microsoft storage. So it's here. Then delegation is going to be FS. Actions on here, this one. And the name is going to be this one here. Here we will do just one modification here is going to be free. When you modify it here, of course, it's modified here as well. So now we are good. We will add the subnet here association so here we include it in the subnet now we are going to say that it's here it's let's say six here we are going to configure later advanced configuration we have it here and then we can close here is going to be Subnet NSG association. So now we have it here. Now we're going to add a security group. Now we include the security group here is going to be default. The name is going to be the variable that we have created earlier here. Then we have advanced configuration here. Here we need access is going to be a low. Description is going to be this one, the low, default, low. Here, this one. And here, like that. We have direction inbound. The name 
is going to be here rule one here is going to be 100 here is going to be protocol this one so here no you need to be careful it's tcp here it's actually this one then we go down its source port range is going to be here then now we look at the subnet because we need to configure it so here is going to be so we look for network security group ID. so here here we put it like that and here we say it's nsb here we are good now we need to actually create other resources so it's this one then we include it here then here is going to be default the name is going to be the variable that we have created earlier server id will configure later here is going to be uf and here we close it now we need another one so here it's manages so here we put it like that here is going to be default the name is going to be this one here we need to create variables so we go back to input then we create the variables is going to be server login so here architecture here is going to be a string here is going to be a brain board admin and then add now we have another variable is going to be server password so here here string here default it's not default is actually value and here sensitive and then we add now that we have done it we can actually go back configuring this resource we can use two variable that we have created so here is server login and here is that word this one is actually seven so now we actually go here so now we have delegated so here it's underscore subnet default ID then this queue name is going to be here we have private then we will create later this one storage here version is going to be 13 this one is going to be one and then here for example is like that so now we can actually add another resource it's going to be here private dns zone it's here this one is default the name is going to be this one advanced configuration we have this and here we need to create it depends on underscore subnet network so here we look is this one so here is this one so here we are good here we're going to make it like that for the design perfect so now here is going to be server id we have server id 
here is going to be flexible server default ld here it's flexible server default ld here we add it like va here we're good here is going to be private so here is going to be underscore dns zone therefore id so here of course we modify it here then now we are going to add another resource is going to be private dns network link it's going to be this one then now we configure it so here it's going to be default the name is going to be this one here is going to be private dns underscore zone so here we have we can use this one as well here advanced configuration we have it here so we are good now we can actually create a depends on between these two resources so here it's going to be depends on here we have virtual network link and here we are good And this one we can actually modify it is going to be private dns zone so we can just private dns zone here we will say private dns zone vnet link so here we can add vnet link and here we can make it bigger we are good here we're going to create the custom resource that we find here then we have here resource here is going to be random pet here lg name here is going to be this one here we actually modify the name is going to be random rg okay. and now we're good actually i showed you how you could create this architecture how you could create your variables now you have you go to the deploy you have the main.gf the output all of this for example here you have the variables here you have the terraform tvars if you want and then here i believe we can do plan Here it's correct, so everything is good. We have created, and now you will be able to directly deploy it from your from Brainboard or do directly open request.